Hi folks, today we're looking at Metro Detroit Audits with his, with three other frauders. Wolverine Crusader, Michigan Constitutionalist Crusader, and Freaking Media, aka Spanky Pants. They go to a state building and they start furting and harassing people until the cops are called or threatened to call. I'm sorry for the uh, audio quality for my video today. I'm feeling out of the weather, but I just want to make content for you guys and hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's make fun of these idiots. What's up guys, Metro Detroit Audit here, back with another video. Metro Detroit Audit. Today we're at... Uh... Guys, I want to make a quick correction. It's not Wolverine uh, Crusader, it's actually Wolverine Transparency. Is the third auditor in this mix. Taylor, Secretary of State, Wolverine with Wolverine Transparency, MCC, and freaking media. We're here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right and ensure our public officials honor and respect that right. Can be silence, testing area. Silence, right? Yeah. Same as last time. Yep. We did good. Yeah. Except we can't talk to the cop. Because he might have went inside if we didn't. There's the door. There's the door. There's the door. Go, 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 Yes, this video is taking place during November of last year, during the pandemic, where masks were still being required and still are required in most places, especially in state buildings and hospital facilities and doctor's offices. So these four geniuses decided to go in without masks, and they're going to harass these people who are just trying to do their jobs and at least find other folks just trying to get on with their day. Illegal signage. Illegal signage. Illegal signage. Illegal signage. You guys can't come in here and record. We're recording. We have, look at right here, we have, you cannot videotape or anything on the door. So you guys need to exit with those videos. I need you guys to exit the building, please. I need you to exit the building. Stop working. Now, they were just asked by the security guard to leave the building, but yet they refuse. Why? Well, because they have nothing better to do than to waste everyone else's time, taxpayer money, and just to be a complete pain in the ass to everybody. So I do a little research on the area, the building they're in. It looks like it's a DMV. So these geniuses went to the DMV again to audit. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, ma'am, I can answer that question for you. See, these are First Amendment frauditors. They don't care about how everyone else's days are impacted unless they can get their content for their clicks and views. So, because of them being in the DMV, where they have to collect personal information, such as social security cards, uh, addresses, and phone numbers, they don't want people's information to get out there, because they know these idiots will put it right up on YouTube. Because we can see any personal information from back here. Right. Totally. Thanks. It's just not about seeing it with your eyes. It's also what your microphones can pick up. See, my microphone that I have for recording is very sensitive. It can pick up a lot of sound. So, let's say you were to focus your microphone towards the desks where they could hear people's information being gathered. Or you could zoom in on a computer screen. So, yeah, they have concerns. And that's why they said they wouldn't be processing anyone's information until you idiots leave. Denying service to the citizens because of the presence of cameras. 
They got cameras everywhere. Look how many cameras they have in here. One. <clears throat> Too many to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Really? You can cut to fourteen. Good for you. You earned a cookie. But it still doesn't matter. Those are security cameras. Those are for the protection and safety of the employees and the patrons of the DMV. Not for you idiots to gather content with. Do as I say, not as I do, huh? Bet. You guys willing to accept that? Go ahead. <coughs> I know it's too much to ask, but at least these idiots could have wore a mask. Uh, who am I kidding? Uh, they would never wear one because it violates their freedom. Well, look, we're getting a cam back. Who cares? You do work for me. She's observing her First Amendment, right? Look at that. She's probably not allowed to do that while she's, she's working. She's not even allowed to do that. She's the one that signed the ethics agreement not to do what she's doing right there. You know what? I won't be making a complaint on you. You work for me, ma'am. People need to know that. <laughs> See, she's observing her First Amendment, right? Look at that. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. Look at that. Bam! I thought you're not allowed to record in here. Do it sideways, you get a better view. I know you can't miss a big ass fat target like me, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, baby. Well, that was just disturbing. Why did you say that? Look. You guys aren't there for any real purposes other than social media gain and to get monetization for your YouTube channels. Clicks and views for your channels because you guys have nothing better to do. It's like 4 o'clock and people are like, oh, they're, they're just because they don't have a job. Most oh. good jobs are off by 3 o'clock. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Actually, you're wrong. You see, most people have set hours. Now, if you worked at a fast food place, you would understand that. Some people who work at factories work different shifts, so they would have certain times. Doctors are on call almost 14, 15 hours a day. So are nurses. So, good jobs have different times. You, sir, are just a freaking idiot. Most good jobs are Most off by a decent time. Off. Make them put a mask on. Russia. No rights. The Constitution is gone. Literally. The United States Constitution was just wiped by that lady's rear end. It's gone. Just wiped it away. Flushed it down the toilet. Why exactly are you here holding up everybody? We're not holding you up. They're holding you up. No, they guys think you're not supposed to be here with the mask don't, on don't, either. Don't, 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 don't. Socialist. Yeah. Uh, the tactics of the frauditor. You see, 
They're going to insult these people by calling them socialists or communists, saying they don't care about the Constitution, that they're not the ones being held up by them, it's the employees. Well, look, you're the ones who were there causing a scene. You're the ones stopping the employees from working because your phones are there to gather information and content. Yeah, we are. So is so is that person and that person and that person. You're videoing people's privacy. Yeah, we can see a whole lot from back here. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah. You want me to go get one? Yeah, please. Well, we're waiting for him. Don't engage with them, guys. Don't engage with them. I would listen to Spanky Pants. He's the smart one amongst you guys. Well, I shouldn't say smart. More as in, he's the one who knows how to not get a charge. Tell it to them. Tell, tell, them. tell it to them. I need 90 calls in two minutes. <laughs> So they're, so they're blaming the oppressed and not the oppressors. Yeah. They're blaming the oppressed and not the oppressors. Ain't that a bitch? Shame. The only bitch I see are the four of you. Look, you guys aren't there for any real purpose other than to get social media uh, clicks and views. To put stuff on your webs, on your YouTube channels, to say, hey, we're being oppressed. They're Karens. Look, grow up, get some help. Do something better with your life. She is violating policy. She's not allowed to record. She's like, why can't they come in and arrest him? It's public property. Yeah, public property, publicly accessible. You have no expectation of privacy in public. It's a state tax collection agency ran by the state. The people have the right to come in here and hold our public officials and employees accountable, the people who work for our tax dollars. Just because you idiots buy a bottle of Fago don't mean you guys are in charge. Look, you buy a pop, you buy a candy bar, that goes to roads. So you pay income tax or you pay property tax, you're not a taxpayer. But they don't get that. Hope you're not calling the police. The police just told her to screw off. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> the police just told her to pretty much screw off. They're not doing anything wrong. She's all butthurt. The cops won't come save her feelings. File a complaint with the Secretary of State office for how their employees treated you. Sure they are. They're refusing to help you. They're refusing service over a constitutionally protected activity. Yes, public photography is a First Amendment protected activity. However, how is a First Amendment protected activity, you guys, going around harassing everyday people? Well, it's not. And you guys are the first ones to talk all that trash about the cops. But everybody knows if somebody comes wanting to beat up on you or break into your house, you're calling the cops, aren't you? Eh, it's old. Get some new content, man. I know I'm short. <laughs> Dude, I almost just beat somebody's ass who was just your size at the last place I was at, so just stop. <laughs> now, that wouldn't be the African-American gentleman who put you up against the wall for filming his wife, was it? Because I seen that video, and I saw you put up there by your neck on that wall, 
And you were crying for the police right after. Yeah, because he backed down. Because he backed down. Hey, are you the manager? Yes, I am. Come here. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. I won't even put you on camera. Just come here. I'm already on camera. Okay, well, come here and talk to me. Okay, I was going to try and explain something to you, but since you're too stubborn to listen and you want to refuse to service these people because of the presence of our cameras, you're ill advised, you're uneducated. Why? Because, okay. listen, because I can do you know where credit, credit acceptance is? Because that's who I'm waiting on right now. Okay. So you got the wrong person. Okay. We love it. That's why we do it. Now look at that face. That's the face of a frauder. Pointless, stupid looking, and arrogant. Look, you've just admitted you're not there for the Constitution. You're there to get uh, clicks for social media. So, let's face it. You guys wouldn't do nothing. If somebody wanted to fight you, you would run and call the police. Or say they assaulted you. Like you all do. And Spanky Pants, you're the biggest creep out there. It's because I know the law that I am in here, thank you. The Dollar Tree is Dollar Tree is a private business, and that doesn't quote any law. It's an unlawful it's sign. An unlawful sign. We're not trying to hold you guys up, man. You guys are hassling nobody for no reason, dog. You know no, we're not hassling anybody. We're standing there. We did. We weren't hassling. We already did. We were standing there. So being wait out quiet. here for it. Let these people do their fucking job, bro. You know how long I've waited to get this shit, and then you fucking retards out coming here acting like that. Bro, we're coming here to fucking acting protect like your what? rights. We were staying silent. That young man is right. You're not there for the Constitution. You're not there for their rights. You're there to get clicks and views for your YouTube channel. Look. If that guy caught you on the street by yourself, Metro Detroit Audits, or any of you guys, he would have put a boot up your butt in a minute. You guys are only here to collect content for your channels and try to get a lawsuit because you guys can't do anything better with your life. Protecting your First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to redress your government. I mean, you can, li you can live in a communist state all you want, buddy. That's why you're on parole, right? Hey, everybody's entitled to their opinion. To each their own. I'm getting real tired of these frauders saying this. Go to a, this is a communist state. This is a communist country. Well, you're right. Because if it was somewhere like China or North Korea, yeah, they wouldn't tolerate your BS. They would take you, put you in a camp, put you in a jail, even your whole family. For generations, they would do this. So. Be thankful you live in America. So does yours. Fuck what? She's on the phone with the state police now. <laughs> Lying. Listen to her lie. Listen to her lie. Good luck, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm number one. You're right. What are you trying to do? I am number one. What are you You're right. To what am I? Good bet I can do this lawfully. You can do that lawfully. Absolutely. It's your right. It's your right. It's my right. It's his right. It's all you violate people's right. right. Is it your right? Huh? You violate people's right. right. I'm not violating anybody's right. No, no, no. no, no. I didn't. Getting upset isn't is a violation of rights. Upset you all. Not me. No, no, no. You got to twist it. Getting upset isn't a violation of rights. No. But harassing people, not wearing masks, and violating building policies and rules and regulations, that is. So, you've already been asked multiple times by the manager and the security guard to leave. You've called well, the police department and you've called the state police. You guys are doing this just so you can get a reaction. They're just doing a lot of crap. <laughs> That's her complaint. They're doing a lot of crap. Us no, they are. Yeah, they keep are. lying about our just trying There's to get no transactions. Place. Keep lying. Government place where Suey says so on what? the board you're supposed to have. That's not a law so either. Find a little riot or something to start here. That's not a law either. I mean, take the police and not do that Yeah, because it's not against the law. Yeah, am I the only one here who thinks these guys are Facebook anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers because they've been reading too many conspiracy theories? Well, maybe if they learned how to read some. Why do cameras make people so nervous? I know, it's ridiculous. I, I don't understand the whole confidentiality bullshit they're spewing. We can't see nothing confidential. No, Who's this all. Karen, dude? She, this Karen's off the chain, bro. Which one? This Karen with the fuck, with doing the, the double yellow. boots? Yeah, you know, the walking boots, cam backing. Oh, yeah, again? Complaining that we're in there recording when she's doing the exact same thing. Yeah. But somehow it's okay for her to do it, not us. I don't get that. It's a super Karen. Oh yeah, she's definitely yeah, a super this, Karen. This, this, lady, this lady in this back row, remember that guy that I that was talking over there? She uh -huh. called me short. When he walked by, she's like, smash his face. Oh wow. Yeah. Here, open the door for the lady. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what she said. people, I'm a nice guy. What are you guys doing today? Hey, sir. All right, man. Enjoying what weather we've got while we're outside. Now, here comes the cops. The cops are going to tell the people that they can't do anything about them because they can't stop the recording. However, if the people, if the cops were told that, hey, we asked them to leave, they're refusing to wear masks. They're not following the rules, they don't, they're not doing anything but recording, and we've asked them to leave, and they refuse, they could be trespassed, but the cops won't do anything about that until the people stop them, and tell them, hey, they refuse to leave. They always got to talk in private so they can lie. Of course. What well, makes you so different? You lie behind a camera to everybody else around you. We're going to the video here. There's no real gratifying ending to this video, except for the fact that we can all agree that these frauders are nothing more than parasites and crybabies. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment and a like on it in my videos because it helps me with the algorithm. I'll be doing a live stream coming this week, possibly this weekend or the next week. 
I'll also have a link to my PayPal and my Twitter account. If you want to make a donation to my PayPal, anything helps. You don't have to. I just greatly appreciate it if you guys do because it does help me out. Also, anything you want, if you have any videos or news stories you want me to take a look at for the channel, please send them to my Twitter, which will be linked in my bot. It's linked in the video and my or email to me on my uh, about for my about me page. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.